guys, so here we have a 2004 Chevy Cavalier with the 2.2 liter Ecotec. Recently this car has developed a problem of running incredibly rough, like it's running on two or three cylinders, and the catalytic converter glows red after extended amounts of driving, like uh, 25 to 30 minutes. Um, I have a video I'm going to show you here of the problematic symptoms. In case you're having this same issue, you can watch this video and see if it acts like yours. So uh, watch these two videos real quick and we'll come right back. Accelerate. It's just like it's bogging down. See so the RPMs just plummet, almost to stalling, and it comes back up. But I think the car's running real rough right now. Acts like it's running on two or three cylinders. You can hear it. It's just, it's just act like it's, it's doing terrible. Acceleration is terrible. I just got a constant flash engine light, check engine light. I have no acceleration at all. I'm in third, trying to accelerate. It's just barely going. So this is, this is what's going on. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's my catalytic converter and downpipe glowing cherry red. So yeah, I got a major problem. Okay, so now that we're back, um, from research and looking online and doing some other work and not fixing the problem, I think it's this. So here you have your ignition control module, right here, and then you have your boots. Um, that go down to your spark plugs. This entire unit can be replaced as one or you can replace them individually. Uh, what I have done prior to troubleshooting this is I've replaced this, the fuel pressure regulator. I thought uh, I had low fuel pressure or too much fuel pressure. I thought the diaphragm in here had let go and it was just dumping fuel. It was leaking. It was starting to leak down here. And it's a common problem as well. That did not fix the problem. So what I did is I went to a junkyard actually and pulled a, one of these entire rails. It's right over here. There it is. Pulled one of these from a 2005 Cobalt, believe it or not. These 2.2 Ecotecs are everywhere. They're in Saturn Views, Saturn Ions, uh, Saturn L300s, I think, Chevy Cobalts, Chevy Cavaliers. I mean, you name it, It's this engine's everywhere. And so for $35, I got this, a used 05 Cobalt. Um, I have no idea if it works or not. I get a warranty on it, so we're gonna try putting it in. But for $35, you can get the whole module. And so what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna install it real quick and see if my check engine light goes off because even just pulling into the garage started misfiring and having a check engine light. So uh, we're gonna record this real quick, the install, and then uh, we'll come back and see if it fixes it. All right, so um, I'm thankful every day to Chevy for making an easy to work on eco box. And this car is no different. To remove the old one, you need a 10 millimeter socket uh, here, 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 and here. Once you take those screws out, set them aside, and you'll have to take out this clip. And it looks like my retainer's missing, so I'm just gonna go pull it. There should be a plastic retainer, and I actually grabbed one from the junkyard, so I'm gonna put it back in when we install it. So uh, you'll have to pull a plastic retainer. If not, just pull right here, and pull the entire thing out. Now, everyone says be careful. Mine came out pretty good in the junkyard, but uh, what we'll do is you just grab here and here, just kinda, Wiggle it out. Mine's in there pretty good. So just keep wiggling, keep wiggling. And bracket in the way. Done. It's out. So, and somebody even marked my cylinders one, two, three, and four. It looks like my uh, third boot has been replaced and it's, ooh, it's melted a little bit. So that could be where my issue's coming from. So, let's just replace this entire thing now with the junkyard model. Let's get this 
thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna clean this thing up real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and reinstall it. Why? Might, might as well clean up the part before you put it back in. Okay, here we go. Nice and cleaned up, ready to put back in. Now, before normally you would uh, reinstall this, you would install some dielectric grease, dielectric grease into these four boots. I'm doing that for two reasons. One, I'm out, and two, there's actually still a good amount in here from the Cobalt. The Cobalt was a pretty recent year model. So I'm just gonna put it back in the way it came out, but normally buy some, put it in there with a toothpick or something, something that won't leave debris or fibers behind, and then uh, let's go ahead and reinstall. All right, reinstalled. So next we're gonna put the bolts back in. All right, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna reconnect it. Now, I did test this with the junkyard. I found an 04 Cavalier and just plugged the connector and it worked just fine. So, yep, connector's just fine. And then I found my little connector. So I can... and you know what, actually, doesn't matter. This is to a Cobalt. Their harness is gonna be different. So if you have a Cobalt, you have this. If you have a Cavalier, you don't. As long as it's, you know, secure, you're good to go. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start the car and uh, see if it starts, see if it runs. All right, so it's running. Um, let's check inside and see if there's a check engine light on startup. So I still have my check engine light, but it may take three or five cycles of the engine to let it go away. Already, if you can tell from the video, if you watched it, this thing's running so much better. So. We'll, uh, we'll take it for a test drive real quick and we'll see if the check engine light goes away. Okay, here I am just pulling out of my driveway. Um, check engine light is still on. However, I think the explanation for that is uh, whenever I was running really, really rough, the O2 sensors detected that everything was running too lean because two of the cylinders were combusting uh, fuel just fine, two cylinders were just getting raw fuel dumped in. So it, it, uh, it messed up the uh, O2 sensors and it's gonna take three, I think, what, 50 mile trips or however OBD2 analyzes it, but three 50 mile trips for it to relearn uh, or verify the O2 sensors reading the mixture correctly. So uh, obviously we're not gonna take three trips tonight video each one of them. However, just want to let you know the car is running fantastic. Uh, I do not have loss of power. Uh, it's not flashing. I have, I can start off in second gear if I wanted to. So the check engine light is secondary right now because I did get a P0171 and a P0300. 171 was downstream sensor too lean and 300 was multiple misfires did detect it. So we're doing great. Uh, so it was definitely the ignition control module and I really think there was a problem with the number three boot because uh, it had some meltage going on to it so uh, thanks for watching um, I'm not a mechanic I just do these things because I couldn't find information on the internet so uh, I was having horrible rough running Cavalier issues and lots of issues pointed in different directions but I finally just decided to take the bullet and go to a junkyard and get a whole ICM and uh, coil pack rail and what do you know for $35 out the door uh, it fixed my problem so I'll include a link of exactly what I bought at pick and pull it's not in your area of the United States just uh, know you can buy that entire assembly from a cobalt uh, Saturn view Saturn L 300 Saturn ion and possibly other models uh, including the um, 
Pontiac Sunfire as well, because they all share the 2.2 liters. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you.